All right, and we are back for round two, and I am once more joined by Mr. Parker from the Six New York. Hello again. He could not get rid of me. He did try, guys, but I'm here to stay. Sorry. Uh, I tried to declare independence. He said, no, we're in NATO now. I'm like, all right, I guess. <laughs> not falling for that one again. <laughs> all right, we have an Otto and Sherrick here. Pop of 236, 122 on the CSA versus 114 on the Union. I'm not going to go through the unit roster. We did that last map, so... Just, uh, we'll, we'll start out with thoughts on this map from you, Mr. Parker. What do you think about this one? What do you, any, any thoughts for either side on, uh, good old Otto and Cherk? Yeah, first of all, let's, let's, uh, congratulate Kota on getting through all the units on first round, because that was an absolute mouthful. Uh, <laughs> uh, secondly, for Otto and Cherk, this is a map where Union has such a big ticket advantage. It's, it's, I can't remember the exact number, it's roughly plus 50% tickets. In other words... If you kill at a rate of three to two as a union, you'll be level, right? So you kill ten guys as long as they're not killing more than about six, you're you're pretty much golden. What that means is union needs to be aggressive. If they hold back and try and shoot out from the rear, from the stone wall, anything like that, the time will just tick away. Um, last time we played this game in an NA event of this variety, we went hard left, very fast, very aggressive. And we won very quickly. And so far, we've just uh, done uh, it. But I, it I was like going to say, I, I think they took a page out of your book here. <laughs> yeah, they just got to get into them. I know it's it's always kind of scary, I guess. But it's the only way you really leverage your ticket advantage is up close. No unit is good enough at shooting from 250 yards to make a difference, in my opinion. No, and... <sighs> I'm not a huge... I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this Union attack. Well, let me ask you, what do you think about stopping to shoot at this point? I think already what we've seen is a very big splinter for the Union. You've got the guys that went pretty much towards point and hook left that are now isolated and are going to get cut down really quick. You've got the guys that are going hard left. You've got the 42nd that stopped to volley and is now going down the road, but it's going to get there too late for the front unit, which I believe is EB. EB is the uh, front unit. torn to shreds right now. Um, unfortunately, this is one of those moments where you need to mass up and be brave, and I think they've kind of split too early now. So by the time 43rd gets there, 43rd, sorry, 42nd gets there, the 53rd are probably... Oh, there they go, in fact. There they go. They're pulling out. So it doesn't really work to go one in, one out. <laughs> you know, it's not like a, it's not no, like a basketball substitution here. No, <laughs> unfortunately, no. It's just you concentrate fire on the next one. It's kind of like a whack-a-mole. Absolutely. And although that white fence for the CSA isn't cover per se, it is a very good uh, alignment. It's a very good angle to shoot down from. As you can see, they are ripping people with those shots. So, yeah, this is kind of not how to use the ticket advantage. That said, even with that, you can see from tickets, they're not even really behind the Union here. That's that's the no, thing I'm, 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 I'm looking at this de this dead line of 42nd here. They, they have stacked up. I don't know if you see next to the 9th Corps, this perfect line of Union bodies. <laughs> It's, it's very picturesque, it's, uh, it's, and do you know what's even better is since the rifles now just stay propped up on the fence? Yep, 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 <laughs> it's, it's all, the... it's like you're stacking <laughs> yeah, arms, man, you're stacking arms, I'm like, alright. Don't even bother reloading, just grab, just grab the new rifle off the fence. It's like the fucking, what was that movie, uh, Enemy at the Gates, you know, pick up the rifle, and the enemy, you know, the man in front of you dies. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. Oh, oh, well, sorry, while I was, while we were talking, the far right, that 53rd element has gone and engaged the HO, or maybe accidentally, but, uh, there's a far right engagement here, which is. Oh, those! I, I don't know about having those two far, those flags that far forward would just that. do Yeah, that's pretty. pretty I think H, I think H L smells blood here. Yeah. Get that flag! Get that flag! Get that flag! Whoever said fuck it, run. Yes, I agree with you, good sir. That's one flag down. Oh, a guy did. A guy did sneak in and take it though. Rover sort of. Never mind. <laughs> They, they got one out, which is which is good, but ew. yeah, that's a that's a very early time to lose a flag here. Now, even what with that, like you that? said, look at the tickets. Look at where we're at right now. So that is the flag for the EB as well. So that's quite a lot of guys to have spawning main now for the next five minutes until they rescue that thing. Yeah, the other one went down too in the middle of the flight. It's a bit more recoverable. It's a little bit uh, southwest of point, but this. Yeah, I, th I think the HO are kind of lurking, though. You can see them, like, I reckon one of them can see that flag, and the moment they go for it, they're going to, uh... Oh, in fact, I just flew over the top of them. Yeah, one of them was just saying about their officers just starting to run back, and they're scared, so... 
They're probably eager right now to make sure that flag doesn't get out of there. Yeah, no. Um, I'll be honest. I think that initial attack is it's a little bit too, like you said. Uh, even though, even with that though, you got plenty of time, man. Yeah. Even a with full the, reset here, a full you got a, reset, you just, got a just full accept. reset. Just accept and keep and do it again and do something else. You know, or or do the yeah. same thing. Just do it better. It's it's just like bloody lane, right? You know, on bloody lane, most units will try and like go hard left or hard right, and it'll it'll get fucked half the time, right? On the first push, it really oh, does not shit. matter as long as you don't let that like dictate what you do next and you know, lose your head. Like if they all reconsolidate here, speak to each other and go, you know what? That went to shit. It's 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 fine. There's so much game left here, but if they start losing their head and splintering, which the 40 second looks like they're on the right with EB, but the rest of the unions on the left, this is kind of where it starts to be a bit. You know, it gets disjointed very quick, and all of a sudden, that ticket advantage you have just disappears out of nowhere. Well, so, yeah, the ticket advantage, and I would say that, you know, we were talking a little bit last map, the big thing on this map is the timer for me. It's, and yeah. like you mentioned earlier at the, at the top, is that timer could just sink on this map. Looks like we got two pushes here, so I think I'll hang out on this right push here. I think this might be the main one. So EB got there. Oh, don't stay in the defilade. Oh, don't do it. That defilade is a red herring. I fucking hate this defilade, man. I've seen so many guys just get slaughtered here. We're watching GC sitting here like two weeks ago and just... Oh, God. The temptation to crouch in that fucking thing is unreal as well. <laughs> the amount of units you see, like, crouch, crouch, crouch. And they just get shot down on because the units above them... They get shot down. They already hit some from that other kit. Oh, it's just... Mm. Yeah. 40 seconds is going to your rock, man. Parker's rock. There it is. <laughs> it is alive and strong. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little volley there by the 40 second. Oh, that didn't yeah, seem to do much. Oh, they got hit hard too, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of. Hey, HL is, is, is punching pretty dang hard right now. They really are. Looks like they got first VA supporting them as well, along with. Looks like a bunch of units here. A, B, 20th, Georgia. Yeah. I'm not doing all the units. I did a last map. You guys were all the same. So go watch the other video. <laughs> In fact, keep that one on repeat if you need to know who the unit is. Yeah, just go back to the video like maybe five times during this video and hit refresh a few times while you're there. No reason why. It's definitely not for views. No, no. And, you know, <laughs> just you know, just put... make sure you know all the units that are playing. Just, you know, double check as well. And <laughs> Be yeah. absolutely sure. You know, yeah, you know. And make sure you're sharing it on all your, you know, pages and all that other fun stuff. Yeah, and if you if we accidentally miss you, then be sure to comment it down below. And, uh, you know, we'll correct it and comment back and uh, boost that little, uh, you know, <laughs> and get, get it up in the, uh, the old matrix. So. Yep. Oh, God, here's, here's TV. Just, that's why I hate that defilade, man. They retreat. Now, I actually must confess, I'm not sure on this map, but I'm looking at the CSA unit, the first Georgia. Do they get buck and ball? Um, I believe they do. Yeah, because if they do, that's... Obviously, the Palmetto Sharps, uh, the Whitworths, and I think Mississippi 41s and stuff like that. I believe the first... I think you're correct here. I think the first Georgia do, in which case you have a lot of... <laughs> you got a lot of muskets that are... That are floating about, ready for you to charge across this uh, yeah. this little valley in the middle as well. So. Yeah, I, I hate. I don't, well, yeah, I'm, I was gonna say I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but it's worth saying. Look at where we are on Morale State, where we were. We were at 38. And where were we? Dead even. Look at where we are now. And what? what flag dead here as well on the left yeah. flank is still down. Uh, this green flag. And and I would say, and you know, I'd be curious if you'd agree with me. What what has changed? What what is the union um, different from the initial attack to this attack? Not, I mean the the union far right moved up, got to the rocks, and now they're falling back again. So they engaged for what a minute or so, but now they're pulling all the way back to the stone wall. The left side made no ground, as far as I could tell. No, they've all um, fallen back. So we're pretty much back to going live at forty three. <laughs> you know, we're pretty much live again, just yep. minus the clock and some tickets. Yeah. And I, I, would, I would say the other thing, now they're kind of correcting it, is disaggregating, you know, going in piecemeal. One unit stopped at the, you know, thing, the other unit moved forward. 
Now, Yonzi is a lot ahead of his unit. I don't know if he realizes that, but he, he was almost engaging while they were still up in the fence. <laughs> so, no. they CSA... need to try and close this a little bit because they're very spread out again. No, and, and the CSA has a nice kill box set up for him, too. Yeah. Look at this intersecting fire that's coming in onto him. It's a very good, like, you can see the arc of a circle here. It's pretty much covering just short of 90 degrees, maybe like a like a 70 degree angle as they come up the hill. It really is. It really is a kill box, as you say. And in fact, not all of the unit committed to it again. Nope. It looks like the MWB... Is it MWB? Yeah, the MWB in the 42nd held back, so that entire charge was just wasted, to be honest. They barely even got to the crest of the hill. And now yeah. these guys on this on this line here are just going to get shot to pieces. It is criminal, though. Like, again, in my opinion, CSA's defended really well, but they're not even... Like remarkably ahead on barely the ahead. This is barely this is ahead. This map is fucking stupid, and I can't wait for the devs. Um, you, you, did you see the announcement they said about adjusting the ticket balances and ratios? I, I did. I did. This map is my number one priority alongside Cook's Counter Charge for fixing tickets because it is stupid. Union does not deserve to win this map as often as they do, but they do it just because of tickets. I and, and the I, 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 I agree with Cook's you. Charge. This this is one of the ones I'm very hoping that they change it up a bit. Yeah. I mean, it's it's roughly a plus 50, I think, for both CSA Cooks and USA Otto Sherrick. I would honestly say just, just half that straight away. Just take it down to, like, plus 25, or whatever ratio you need to do. I don't know how it works with programming, that kind of thing, you know. But just roughly half it straight away. And I think both Cooks and Otto Sherrick will be a lot more enjoyable straight away. Oh, I agree. I agree, absolutely. Cooks especially, by the way. Cooks is one of my favorite maps in this game. It's just so sad that it's so tough <laughs> for Union, you know? It's such a good map, but the devs have made it, like, not impossible to win, of course, but I'd say nine times out of ten, quite literally, CSA will win that map. Fuck. You, you, yeah, you, Fuck. you can make so few mistakes as Union, and you have so much latitude as the CSA on that map. Same thing on this one here. And again, though, the CSA is, uh, for the Union, is not really doing great, but, you know, we're about even on tickets, and we're not even... Oh, God, look at this crossfire coming in. That's brutal. BB's in a good spot again here. Yeah, that's why I hate sitting on that fence, man, or even in the divot, man. It's no. As long as I live with the flag. You do have some Union skirmishers on the very far left here. It looks like the second US, which just got turned around by the ninth LA. So these little skirmish groups are having another fight, just like first round. This time, uh, this time they're on the um. Yeah. The, the far left. Uh... Actually, no, they were on the far left last time. Union far left, weren't they? So... No, they were. They were. They were messing with each other last time. So you know. Looks like EB, though, is going to attempt a uh, play on the left here. What do you think about this maneuver here by them? There is an opening. They could get behind TB here. I don't know if TB knows they're coming. If they get behind TB, fix themselves on that uh, fence line and just start teeing off on them, that is great tickets right there. I think Knight has not seen them, though. Knight has not seen them, so this is going to get very bloody very quickly. Melee, melee, melee. The EB is remarkably spread out, though, for one unit charging here. They're getting torn apart by the uh, TB boys. Knight is on their flank, teeing off of a Lamat as well, I'm sure, which is not good news for anybody. <laughs> well, look who's ahead on tickets. It's still contested, to be fair. It's not over yet, but uh, the CSA does have their flag there. So I'd imagine they will just win this. Oh, I mean, he's going crazy though. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, Good job. I mean, I, I mean, they want it. Well, no, there's still Sarn Fry. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Sarn Fry, do it. It gets Connor. And oh, no. Fry comes out, and the EB has won that charge. Connor's only got one arm as well. Bless him. It's not easy to swing a rifle, but when you've only got one arm. <laughs> so... Oh no! Wait, this PFC dumb was able to knock out the. Uh... Or Mr. Fry. I think Cunningham's just arrived to the party late and he's realized, hold on, I am the only uh, guest at the party right now. And there he goes, back down the road. Yep, yep. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know what? I like it, though. It's better than charge. Oh, he got shot anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Still, I'd rather you do that than get, you know, charge the line and get killed anyway. At least, yeah, at least he tried, you know. But yeah, here we are at 29 minutes and both teams are engaged, so... Do you think the CSA could do anything different to try to improve their uh, their standing at the moment? 
Um, not, not really. I think, I mean, they're not doing bad by any means. They're holding the defense really well. Um, if they can find a way to avoid taking as many losses, that is the only real thing they can improve on right now. Because the actual, the holding of the charges, except for that last one, which I found curious because it looked like the TB had such a much, so it had such a better position. And then the last remnant of that EB group somehow got the conclusion that, you know, they need to try and find a way to just minimize a few casualties here. Maybe hold back a little bit more and shoot down like they did on that very first charge from those back fence lines. Something like that. Maybe just to avoid the melee, because I think the melee is what's letting the Union catch up here. It's not so much the shooting, which the CSA is winning, I think. Probably, it's fair to say, you know, easily, right? But the melee is what's letting the Union catch up a little bit. So maybe if they can turn this into more of a shootout. Well, speaking of, we got 42nd on this far left here. And a chasing off the Artie. They are about to get caught by a volley here, it looks like, though. TV's back. Ah, uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, they got a couple guys. I think I think they're maybe a little, little bit low on stamina from sprinting down, though. It's probably just a little bit too much sway on the shot. Yeah, that is out of bounds for Union, though. Don't forget that that artillery is uh, not uh, not reachable. So, oh, that artillery certainly reached somebody. TB just got oh, nailed. I think the full second charge is TB. Yeah, this is going to be brutal because I think TB is going to be reloaded in time. Yeah, because a good number got knocked off when they were got hit by that arty shot as well. Nine teams just finished their reloads as well. Oh gosh. I think they got it off just in time. Oh my. Yep, they held that one. It's curious though, isn't it? Great hold, but look at the tickets. Behind, yep. That's <laughs> A great hold isn't enough. Yeah, this, every time Union manages to get into melee, even if it's only with five or six guys, they are starting to turn that balance in a ridiculous fashion. Because the CSA straight up won that shootout, but enough uh, Union guys got in to start meleeing that it's just started turning the, the ticket bar, which is Reload ridiculous, you know? <laughs> it shouldn't be the way. And now on the far right, the EB's charging, so maybe they'll turn the balance even more if they manage to make it to melee. All the way up, all the way up the no, they're going through a good deal of concealment with those bushes. They're going to catch up to the uh, unit over here, the 20th. Oh, they're splitting two, though. Half's gone left, half's gone right. Lightburn's coming in too, MWB's coming in too. There's a couple of Knife Corps guys in there as well. Yep, this is, this is looking pretty good for them. At least they're going together. At least they're going together. This could be enough... Uh, this could be enough of a ticket loss against CSA that makes it work well, even though it's a little bit spread out. No, it wasn't a great charge, but again, like you said, on this map, you don't have to have great charges. You just need to get in. Yeah. The Union needs to be in melee. The CSA needs to be shooting. Whichever one does that better, I think, wins, to be honest. And right now, the Union's getting into melee distance enough, which is turning it. Yeah, look at, look at the ticket balance here. Do you have a Georgia flag down on the far left? Oh, no, Pancake's got it up. Never mind. There he goes. Can we just wipe? We're wiping them out. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Yeah, he's, I hear Wilkes tell him, say, hold there and shoot him. That's that's what you need to do. Yeah. It really is curious, isn't it? Like, the CSA has been out shooting them. But every time the Union gets within melee distance, they're turning it. And they're not even winning the melee. It's, 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 it's... No, they're not. Do you know what it is? It's like Nicodemus Hill. It's the exact same principles on that. You get into melee and you start turning Nicodemus Hill's Union, even if you don't win. Someone's in the fucking window of the house. There's a Union group trying to go hard. Uh, he's right they don't there. have resistance this time. Master Assassin is in the window of the house. This is true. Like and note. typing in chat as well. And a note for later. If I was an admin and I had the... Sorry, I am an admin. But if I was a server admin, he would be removed right now. I'm going to quickly spawn in and remind them though. Because I don't think that is a fair thing to do, Mr. Assassin. <laughs> so I will be back in one second. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I'm not. No. Target front. Looks like we got 20th Georgia coming up here. 
see if we can get this volley off him. And 40 second charging in. Oh, they're going to catch him. I don't want to cost CSA a ticket here, so I will briefly roll in the line until I die. <laughs> oh, that's all right. There's, there's, there's another melee going on. 40 second charged in, so. Who'd you spawn in with? I'm within the TB group right now. We are running past the house, so I'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we shall fall, Mr. Parker, as he goes to glory. I may, I may not have a load, but here we go. <laughs> Tell you boys! Tell you boys! Check fire, check, check fire, fire, check fire! Check fire, check fire, check fire! Check fire, Tennessee! There's a flag down. I'm gonna do my job. Here we go. So we got PG just ran around. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Oh, Tennessee. There you are with that. An admin doing his job right here. Tennessee, break both plays. Let's go. You good dumbass. Get up and go on. All right, so I'm going to trust in the ethical thing, and I'm going to keep uh, commentating. <laughs> Looks like Fourth West Virginia is now, uh, Lightburn is now behind in the yard, uh, coming up to the shit shack behind the uh, CSA position. They're getting some nice out of line kills. And in fact, if you look to your left. No, no, do not. I, I'm not, I, I will refuse to engage in game right now. I'm just an escort for them right now. Oh, this is not good, though. They are on our left indeed. Who would have thought that? <laughs> Come on, boys. Such a surprise. I'm dodging bullets right now. That's what I'm going to say. All right, looks like that has been secured. Although there's still a couple survivors that are hanging out. Oh, we got another high house guy. We got a... It's our major guy from the Fourth West Virginia. That master assassin, the well as well. He's still in the house. Uh, he's in the uh, small. Uh, you'll see it on the video later. Yeah, I might have to run over and shout at him though, because I have asked him politely in the chat. But uh, yeah, that's that's not good. That's not kosher. All right, so we are now at the 21-minute mark here. CSA is slightly behind on tickets. Union at engaged. It's like Joker's going to try to flank the Union that's down in the divot. Well, he's taking a lot of fire doing it. Oh, this could end in tears. Alright, Assassin is now out of the house after I shamed him. <laughs> Shameful display. Sometimes it's encouragement, what can I say? 40 seconds still like hanging out on this far Union left side of the field here, along with two USS. Not sure if they're doing as much damage as they could be doing. Might be catching some out of lines, but... At 20 minutes... And a little bit down on taking losses. Not great for the CSA, to be honest with you. No, nah, the, uh... Independent fire again, they, they just trying to avoid losses somehow. I know it's difficult, but, um... The longer you're engaging... The more tickets we're losing on a map where Union has such an advantage, it, as annoying as it is, obviously, we're all here to shoot people, have fun. <laughs> You've got to try and avoid some of these engagements somehow. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's counterintuitive, but unfortunately, it's, it's you know, it's more important for you to live than for them to get killed. Exactly. You, you can win by outlasting them. You will probably not win by outkilling them on this map. 
No, you have to kill him by so much. It's, west, west, yeah. west, west, it's, it's not uncommon on Orange Shark to have a ratio of almost 2 to 1 against Union and they still win. It's actually a similar ticket advantage to River Crossing, but look at the difference in the map, man. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, River Crossing, you're down a goddamn funnel, man. It's like... One per post. Yeah. Knife core. One per post on the fence. Independent fire. Still remember that one uh, cancer shot you guys had on those poor guys. I think it was 10 10 C2. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a perfect canister. Yeah, I remember that fondly. <laughs> Every single one, and like two or three, like died like after the effects, just like lost heart or something. Yeah. Oh, I died with the flag. I'll go back in the sky. Uh, he's just in time for Mr. Hankel here to get charged out by the 42nd on this right yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, I've got to see yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> shoot him! To 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 shoot him! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on, come on. Oh, my sorry. Oh, all right. Huh? You're going to get it. Get that guy. Keep shooting, oh, keep, shooting keep shooting, keep shooting. And Hankel won the fight. Yes. Keep holding these rocks. Yeah, it's don't like back again. Yeah, they didn't all go in. Just keep holding here. Keep shooting. Hankel managed to recall his guys as well from getting carried away there. So well done. That is really key. It, it, it's, it's when you start doing these, you know... You, you want to get those final kills, but you know you just kind of get dragged out and get killed out of line skirmishing. It costs you so much. To quote Hinkle, his screen is red, his eyes are red, my butthole is hurting, but I think he said we won the charge. So congratulations, Hinkle. Um, good job. We don't have numbers. We don't have numbers. That's seven, we need to sir. Go. We need to go. Fall back. 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 All right. So. We are now at 17.30, and CSA is about half a t morale state behind. Uh, what do you think as far as the Union goes? What do you think they should be doing now? Change anything or just keep up with the uh, current pace of attacks? It really is a funny moment, right? What just happened there is a great example. So the 42nd PA got turned around by the 1st Virginia, which had maybe a third of their guys. So the CSA won the engagement. But they lost on tickets by a big margin yet again. So for Union, you have a very mixed feeling right now of we're losing, but we're winning. So I imagine they're a little bit unsure right now of what should we do. If they can, if they manage to do it, I would say just keep doing the same. As, as weird as it is, it's working, right? The 42nd should try and engage this big unit on their left. Ideally, if another unit comes over with them, they could just fucking go for them again. Get into melee. And they'll almost be in breaking the CSA. Just, just you know, through that, it's... This is what I mean about this map. It's such a kind of, you know, excuse my French. It's such a mind fuck, right? The 42nd pulled out of that engagement just then, but they won on tickets. <laughs> it's so confusing. Lost the battle, but you're winning the war. Yeah, by a good margin, like a whole, what, half a morale bar right now? It, 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 almost more, I'd say, at this point. I think it's below that L now. Exactly. This is why this map is so tough for CSA. They can play so well, and... Right just not right win, you know? Looks like we got Knight out here with the TB. I'm not sure about on this far left side. I'm not sure about being this far forward here. Yeah, this is an, this is an example of where you're going to get caught a couple times, and those couple times are unfortunately too many. You see the whole of the EB yeah, here, yep, here down. comes EB. And I think TB just volleyed. So, this is going to be a lot of tickets against the CSA, which even if the CSA wins the poll, which I don't think they're going to. I don't, I don't think they're going to win this fight, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, the, the EB enveloped them really well there. A couple dudes left, but look at the ticket loss in that one engagement. Union's barely touched, right? It's gone down like a couple flecks. CSA's gone down about two letters. Yeah, it's, like, I'd say I, I'd call that two letters, yeah. Like, the the difference in that is astounding. Yeah, you, you really can't take risks here. I, it's nope. it's so counterintuitive, but you can't. It's, it's It has to be a sure thing. Yeah, you got a TV guy going for the flag by himself. If he gets shot, well, that's another big hit at this stage of the game. It looks like MWB's running down. I'm sure one of them's about to pop him. Oh, he fired by himself as well. Oh, it's Master Assassin again. Would you look at that? <laughs> that's five, what you get, my friend. tickets. That's what you get. Don't shoot by yourself. Don't die out of line. Good art, he shot though. 
Ah, I think it was a little bit too soon if he waited two more seconds. Look at Ninth Corps going in. That is true, but at least it blunted the MW uh, officer, so he's kind of a little bit phased now. I wonder if the CSA will attempt a uh, something approaching turtling at this point of the game. Uh, I mean, the problem now is look how close they are to breaking. Next set of woods. Can you afford to turtle at this point? And here we got 40 seconds charging in against against Tankle again. Fire and fall back! Fire and fall back! And this time they caught him. Oh, Knight's going in a counter charge, but I, I think he's just going to lose tickets here. Fall back, fall back, fall back. <laughs> back to the rocks. Help me! <laughs> yeah, so TB was able to win that counter charge, but again, got a bit of a cost, right? <laughs> we got a bit of a theme developing here. Yeah, they. It, it really is a win the battle, lose the war. Every engagement right now, it's it's silly, isn't it? Yeah. EB's now flanking round, and again, they're going to be within melee distance here. They've only got to kill a few here. They are very spread out again, though. They need to try and get their numbers. Because the enemy has numbers, but their numbers are always very spread out. No, they really do need to, I would say, yeah, focus on your charging and, and try to consolidate a bit more as you're going in. Which, again, is counterintuitive. You're like, oh, I want to spread out. It's like, no, 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 it's a ticket thing. Will, will Union capture too early here? Um, They may, but I think, they got, I think they're good. Still capping. Maybe not. They're still capping. I take that back. They are st still capping. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. They don't have to kill many, though. They really don't have to kill many. Probably another maybe six. To oh, there you go. Nice. They got wow. it. Cap, 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 they had it. There we go. Here comes. Wow. And this will end it. Now, I'm going to be very interested to see the casualties on this one. Yep. Well, that's the end of that one. I, I, I think, uh, well, final thoughts for you. I'd be curious if they match up with mine. Um, without being rude to Union, CSA played a lot better. Um, it is the nature of this map. Union won purely based on that ticket advantage. They did what they had to do. Don't, don't get me wrong. But CSA played well in the engagements, but they needed to pull a little bit further out and stop getting into them so much. Because the only way they go down that many tickets is if enough of those guys are dying, right? So... Yeah, a little bit more defensive rather than like aggressive defend defenders kind of thing. Um, and I think they'd have done better there. But it's a shame because they held those engagements, as you saw. It's just you can't hold those engagements at the same time. You outfought them and it didn't matter. Exactly. Um, yeah, and I, I would also say it's a pretty standard auto and Sherrick. Nothing real surprising in it. And let's see, taking a look at the casualties... A lot more even than I would expect, and that's again the problem. Yeah, about a hundred difference. Uh, that's not enough. Well, uh, thanks again to Mr. Parker for joining us from the uh, Six New York. Absolutely, thanks for having me. And uh, hope to see you all on the next one.